What is going on everybody? This is Josh back again with another video and I'm back with another Office Reaction Season 2 Episode 21 and this one's titled Conflict Resolution. Um, the last one was actually pretty funny. Dwight went overboard with the whole drug testing stuff and then you get to the very end and you don't even know who, whose joint it was. I actually thought it was Michael's but then somebody pointed out in the comments that it wasn't even his. So, I mean, I guess it was somebody else's. I don't know. But either way, the episode was actually really funny. Um, I After this one, I'm one more away and I'm finally at season three. So, you know, I'm almost there. But before I get into this reaction, let me quickly talk about this pop. And this one's actually a pretty big one. If you guys are a fan of Bob's Burger, uh, this one's Espresso, Teen, uh, Espresso Trip, Tina, and Unicorn. Hopefully that focus in. So she actually has that espresso cup at the, on top of her head. And this was actually a pretty big pop. But yeah, I actually like this show. I have a couple other pops, but yeah. All right, let's get into it. Definitely over here some wedding preparation, but I'm fine with it. Oh, I got to save the day. Yeah? Yeah, pretty station. Oh, thanks. I didn't get mine. <laughs> he walked away from the wedding talk. There are a few people I decided not to invite. And that might make things kind of awkward, but... Damn. And I don't want anyone there who has called me a hussy. Damn! <laughs> wow, okay. So I guess a couple of people didn't get invited. So maybe that's why this one's called Conflict Resolution. They're going to talk about the whole wedding stuff. Now we'll see. I'm ready. Yes, thanks. Fantastic Sam's Adult Cut Plus. Comes with a... <laughs> He's talking about his haircut. <laughs> We're doing ID photos today. Off. Okay. Oh. What is on your face? <laughs> Excuse me. That is messed up. She over here trying to look cute and stuff and Dwight just tore it down. That's a nice tie. Do you mind if I wear that for the photo? I forget, are you guys dating? No. Michael, All right. can I talk to you for a uh, second, please? Yes. What do you know about conflict resolution? Your answer to everything is to get divorced. <laughs> My Shaolin Temple style defeats your monkey style. Can we go? I have a lot of work to do. Is that like Crouching Tiger or something okay. like that? Okay, so this is the disputed poster. Wasn't that that same poster that she got for Christmas? That's probably why Oscar said Christmas. Angela makes the poster into a t-shirt which Oscar wears. That way he can never see it and whenever she <laughs> looks at Oscar, she can see it. He can look down and see it. Compromise Tuesdays and Thursdays and the answer is... T-shirt. Make the poster into a t-shirt. <laughs> win, win. He wants his idea. <laughs> Creed is used to that, okay. <laughs> I guess that's another one of his backstories. It's not my taste. Was his essay to be the, uh, announced? I order you to give me that file. That and... Michael's gonna mess this all up. Oh, he's sure. Just shoot. What? He's actually gonna turn it into a t-shirt. Meredith complains that everyone talks too loud in the morning and the lights are too bright. She's hung over. <laughs> Today, we are going to get everything out of these files. And how about the Phyllis Angela dispute? You already did me. That's what she said. <laughs> Look at Jim. Wait, wait, wait. If someone has a problem with me, why would they withdraw it six months ago? Was it Angela? Um, That's when it started. Let's move on. That is so awkward. Okay. Just be right there and just people telling you, yeah, I have a problem with you. Someone complained that the men's room is whites only. Stanley, you know, that's not true. <laughs> he goes to Stanley for that. Stanley and I are close, too. He oh, said close. Okay. Oh, I feel so bad for her. The Creed has a distinct old man smell. But I sprout mung beans on a damp paper towel in my desk drawer. Very nutritious, but they smell like death. Oh, what? What the hell is that? There you go. The 
This is humongous. <laughs> I thought he laminated and then you gotta cut around it. Four years right. of malfeasance unreported this okay. can stand. Calm down. No, Just you calm down. Whose side is Toby on? <laughs> Whose side are you on? Stop. One of us is out here by the end of today. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you know your ID says you're a security threat. <laughs> What's gonna happen at five? Transfer. Everybody, transfer, transfer, Damn, transfer. He's, he's okay, fed up with you Jim. two in the conference room with me. Jim Halpert said there was an abandoned infant in the woman's room. When I went to save the child, I saw Meredith on the can. <laughs> I had to put uh, more and more nickels into his handset until he got used to the weight, and then I just took them all out. <laughs> <laughs> These actually don't sound that funny one after another. He's realizing that it's not that funny. I think it's funny. Damn. Everybody's gonna be pissed. How about a group picture while you're here? 20 bucks. Oh, All right. Great. Kevin, Oscar, Andale, let's go. Uh, Oscar Andale. <laughs> I'm the one who complained about you. What? I was just venting. Check that out. You know, it was, just, it was one day. Here we go. It was really <laughs> hard getting a good picture of 15 people. But I'm sort of an expert at Photoshop, so it turned out fine in the end. <laughs> when people work together, there's going to be conflict. Look <laughs> the way they look. Your problem. Okay, Jen, I'll see you now. Oh, thanks. Damn, they personally. Did Jan call him in? Damn. That was a big ass shelf filled with a lot of maybe complaints. It looks like the same box that Toby was using for Dwight. So I'm wondering if all of that is Dwight's or if it's actually Michael's because he did say this right here was just, what do you say? Like, I think it was just for a few days and it was like heavy, heavy. And if they've been known each other for years, worked with each other for years, I'm assuming that whole thing might be all Michaels. I don't know. But it, it got to the end and it shows that Jim actually went to Jan's office. So it's making me wonder, did the complaints finally reach Jan? Or did Dwight actually go tell Jan about it? And Jan is like, hey, I need to see him in the office. These are too many complaints, too many pranks happening. He was listing a lot of pranks. I, I think the one that I actually liked a lot was the, he made me hit myself with the phone. He put nickels in his thing every single day. Like he planned these out perfectly. And he ended up hitting himself with the phone because he finally took all those nickels. I think that's what he said. I think he took all the nickels out. But I actually thought that that was funny. I think every single thing that he did to Dwight, I thought it was funny. It is messed up. But I don't know. I kind of feel like they have that kind of relationship where, you know, they, they pick on each other, even though Jim does most of the picking on. But Dwight, I mean, he's Dwight. He does the stuff that he does. But either way, I thought it was actually funny. Um, Pam actually blaming Angela for the whole um, complaining about or the complaint about talking about the wedding. It ended up being Jim. You can tell that they were actually like, there was like some tension right there. But I actually did enjoy this episode a lot. I actually thought it was funny, even though like they mainly just stayed in the same spot. I knew when Michael was talking about the whole conflict of everything, it like the whole office was just going to be in a bad mood. And you can tell right off the back when he got out that it was a bad mood. But either way, this episode was actually really good. Um, I'm one more away from the season finale, so I cannot wait for that one. So let me know what you guys think about this one. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to comment, especially do not forget to subscribe. I'll catch you on the se on season finale. Peace.